Hi and welcome back to the final episode of my playthrough of Maracaibo. I have at least two errors to correct actually. First one is a good one and thank you so much for making me aware, reminding me when I made it over this guy here. So when I was being back to Havana, I didn't use my, what is it actually? I think it's the soldier, the mercenary, the mercenary I believe, exactly. I didn't use him so this gives me two extra points. Okay, that's definitely helpful. Pretty sure about that. Then something weird happened here actually. And I believe for some reason I moved my, I never made any influence in France. That's for sure. So I'm at zero. So I'm pretty sure that Jean should be at two already because I believe I, I, I moved my pawn or my disc twice instead of her. I think this should be the right thing. And on top of this, and this is something I also completely forgot, I believe I should be at one here because you always start the game with one combat or strength point here. I'm actually really not sure if I forgot this or not. And oof, I'm, I really don't know. And I cannot go back to anything. So I think in this case, I'm most likely you're right. Again, there was a very helpful comment who reminded me of that. But as I really can't recall how it was, I believe, let me punish myself in this case and yeah, stay at zero because I really cannot recall what happened here. Again, thanks so much for all your valuable and, and really helpful comments. But then I think it's time to do our final round, final cruise around the Caribbean here. I think once more, I will move to Santiago. And she ended the turn, so it's my turn, apparently. So I will take the last, what is it? Assistant, exactly, assistant. Um, I, of course, first of all, I want to deliver something here. What am I thinking? So I think let's get rid of this trainer. Yep, that's okay. So let's go for this disc. This gives you one of those immediate um, things. I could gain three influence, I believe in one nation that is. I could gain four coin and four victory points or three steps on the explorer track. I think explorer is something maybe not yet. Let's see what sh what Jean is doing. But first of all, let's deliver. And then I get to choose here. This is not three steps. It really get, gets you directly straight to the next noble rank. And this could be huge actually but again four points and four coins I think I will go for the easy stuff here yeah let's go for it let's go for it so that's four coin one two three four points I really need this <laughs> really need this lead and then I still get to take my village action as I've already taken my assistant here and of course I will build another buy another card and I believe I will go for this expedition. So I have to spend two of my assistants. That's fine. I need to spend 19 gold doubloons. Those are 18 and 19. I really like the sound of this money. So this is worth five victory points at the end of the game right off the bat. But because I have some of those synergy tokens. So I have the anchor and I have the tools here. First of all, I get two money income. That's basically for, but I get eight additional victory point income and that's really huge. So I move from four to 12. I can only score it once basically at the end of this round, but I will take it anyway. And right now I'm even earning more points than Jean, but of course this will change relatively quickly now. And let's not forget the extra two money income, which doesn't help me right now because I have to make it at least over the threshold here. So I'm not getting any money in Kobna, only the victory points I have reached at the end of the last round pretty much. Then I have to draw new cards. I need this symbol here, I believe. The, let's go for the pioneer and let's take one card from the draw deck. And that's a map. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I think I can use them both maybe. Oh, this would be really cool. But again, that's the end of our turn. So let's see what Jean is about to do. She also only moves one. I think she always did this. First move was always a one. Uh, apparently she will place yet another disc. So she's now at 12. So again, she will move here, she will deliver there. Again, there's no real competition there. And then she will move her explorer two spaces ahead. But I think that's not the worst thing in the world. One and two, she doesn't gain any benefits here. And we are now still in the lead. So I think that's okay, that's okay. And that's already the end of her turn. Nice, really nice. And I believe then it's me who needs to rush things. I really want to take this quest before Jean is taking this. I think, yeah, let's do that. 
So one, two, three, four, and five. I need to spend two map symbols, which I happen to have now because I was really happy drawing those cards. So here's a map symbol. Here's another map symbol. So those cards are out of here. But I pretty much yeah, have fulfilled this quest. I get one point per compass. It's still only one compass. It's one point, I take it. But I can remove two discs now. So that's really huge. And right now we are tied in respect to quests. This could also help me later on. Let's remove two discs. Can I remove this one already? I need, in order to unlock this, I have to have six other spaces already unlocked. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. No, I can't. Hmm, that's tough. So I think then, yeah, let's go for the easy one here. So this will score me one, two, three points and one point because of, um, yeah, basically what's written because of my compass. Exactly. But that's again the end of the round. I can draw more cards. Hmm, interesting. Right now I do have all the other symbols actually. Maybe I should go for yet another map for now. Yeah, let's go for the patron again. And let's see what comes out. Okay, that's Trapper. Okay, that's that's she's also very nice, but I think that's that's too late in the game. But actually, I get a second card. I nearly forgot. Maybe I should go. No, let's draw. I, I, I would want to have another map symbol. So let's see. What... Yeah, I get it. It's conquering a village. Oh, very nice. This turns out to be very cool, actually. But then it's over to Jean. So let's see what she will be doing. She will move two spaces. Yes, uh, she will go for a quest now. Yeah, I think she will. And I think there was some confusion in respect how Jean moves. She only moves to either those big circles here or to the small circle or she counts the spaces only when there is a quest basically attached. And if you're playing with the legacy tiles then apparently and there's a city, they count too. So she will now move one space. That's her first movement. Nothing, nothing 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 and then she will stop here and here she will simply go for this quest and this is all that she will do so she will not do anything of the bottom action if she's going for a quest but a quest is five points for her right off the bat as if this wouldn't be enough she's now at three quests we are at only two quests and when we check her victory tracker here so if she has more quests than me then she will score 10 points if she has three more quests than me then it would be 20 and yeah could be up to 30 points so this could really hurt us pretty badly actually I think it's time to visit our innkeeper again in Martinique. Yeah, she's in Martinique. Oh, that's perfect. Again, we will count all our assistants. There are still three and we get two victory points for each of our own assistants, which means we will score one, two, three, four, five, six points in total. And on top of this, she also gives us three coins. Maybe we can buy something with that later on. Right now, I'm not parking any cards. I think I'm pretty happy, to be honest. No, let's see what Jean is doing. And again, she will move two spaces. And again, she will take the upward road. Interesting. So I have a good chance, actually, getting tied with her in respect to quest. That's, I think, yeah. She will end the game then in the next two rounds then actually. Of course, when in the, during the final round, things are a little bit slower. So she will move one, two spaces here to Port Royal. Of course, she will yet park another discs there. So I cannot go there, or at least I cannot deliver anything there. Uh, and overall, she's now at 14 points and she also unlocked five of her. I think we should be still tied if I counted that correctly. Oh, let's do the quote unquote math again. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, six. Ha, huh, nearly forgot that. Okay, she delivered her goods actually and then she will gain one influence in Spain which will give her yet a new noble rank. Definitely good for her. I want to unlock I think the final ship uh, improvement and I think the only way to do that is to moving to Cartagena and then afterward I should still be okay dealing with one of those quests in order to make it tight. So I think I will not be able to go for yet another combat action which is kind of a pity but I think let's do it anyway. So one, two, three, four and five to Cartagena. We will deliver something here. I think it doesn't really matter actually. So I think let's simply go for the pioneer. So we need one corn 
and on top of this we can also get an additional um, disc we can simply remove it so that's two discs we can remove so let's see again that's one two three four five six we have unlocked six so i think i will go for those two here one goes to the corn space here and the other one simply gets removed because of this and because i unlocked unlocked this one i simply score 10 more points and this is really really huge of course let's not forget the strength point here but i think that's about it um we can still draw a card and i guess i will simply go for a blind draw here what did we hear captain oh that's nice he provides us the looking glass so we have all our options now okay that's pretty great actually and by the way when you play with a campaign for example you will add a ton of additional cards, not really a ton, but a lot of additional cards into the A deck, which they come out. So whatever, you maybe find someone, a bad pirate or so in chapter one, and then he could come up in chapter three again and you can hire him then. That's really, really cool actually in this campaign because it's kind of legacy style, but you can easily reset it every time you play. Okay, uh, yeah, next card, that's the Explorer. She will move two spaces, but of course she also has to end uh, her movement at the red space here because she cannot place another disc here. She will go for the third card now, but again, this doesn't really matter for her. That's just a point. And to be honest, I'm really not sure how I should refill those, but yeah, it doesn't really matter anyway too much and on top of this she will now score four points and will also move her explorer four spaces so now she ah she has beaten us here ah come on you must be kidding me okay let's award her her four points one two three and four and then she will also move four more spaces down here one two three four she will always take the shortest route right now we are branching but apparently she's definitely in the lead which would give her at least 10 victory points by the end of the game so that's really really bad and i already made it or moved over my explorer here so i cannot use him now but to be honest i think i forgot to give myself two more points so yeah absolutely because i didn't use him so now i'm 67 points okay that's not too bad and actually we have oh what did i do actually <laughs> i just noticed something instead of moving gene i believe i uh, moved my mercenary from la seba so um he should definitely go um here so of course the ship is here now but again didn't really change the i was really surprised hey i didn't i have an assistant here and then i saw him basically up in camarco okay <laughs> interesting stuff um yeah then it's definitely back to us and i think that we can no i thought we could maybe do both of those quests but apparently we can't and i think it doesn't really matter which one to go for i believe so i think let's go for this one here I will pay with my patron and my captain, or should I go with the other one actually? Because I can still buy those guys. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think I have still plenty of those. So those are the two looking glasses. So I have fulfilled this one. I get two doubloons because I have still only one compass and I get one influence in any one nation. And I believe the only one that would give me another point would be on France because all of the other tracks, I need two steps in order to make it there. But the important piece is, again, we are tight in respect to quest, so she's not scoring any additional points from there. And we still get to draw two more cards, but to be honest, I think they do not really matter anymore. So I might as well go for this nobleman here, and I don't know, let's draw another card from the deck. And that's another explorer, and of course we have to refill. That's the thing. Oh, we can do! another quest actually oh yeah of course because as we are in round four she will take this part and there's one extra space over here oh that's really nice so can we can even get in the lead that's cool but of course let's see she will move only one she cannot 
um, place any more discs. So she will grab another car. That's the second car. That's the trapper for her. Again, that's simply a victory point. And on top of this, she will gain one influence in France. And yet again, she pretty much made it to another new noble rank. Okay, and then it's our last action. So we can either move here to get the quest or we can move to our mercenary in order to get another influence and we get two village actions so this could also help us but to be honest i think i cannot do much with two village action i think let's go for the safe bet so let's go for this quest we have two of those map symbols here we get two dollars again to do bloom sorry for that because we have one compass and again we get one influence and now i kind of regret i have basically moved on england because i think i miscounted or i wasn't really sure what gene was doing back then anyway we get this um quest token here we place it here this gives us three points. And one thing I nearly forgot was our career card here because we have uh, basically the number of quests we fulfilled is definitely now higher than two or it is four actually. So we can also claim this one. So I get this worker here, then I get two points and two more coin. Well, that's definitely nice. And because of the three I got from, what was it again? Was it the quest? Oh, I keep forgetting. Was it the quest? Ah, for this one, of course, because it's printed there. So that's five points in total. And now I have fulfilled all of those. So I can now flip it over, which gives me yet another two points and another two coins, actually. Then we take this card and put it nicely to our map. So we are now Admiral. Isn't that nice? And overall, I scored seven points with that. And I think this was pretty good, actually. So we are... At uh, and for 74 points. And now I'm feeling relatively confident, actually. I think this turned out to be pretty okay. She would still score a lot of points, don't get me wrong, but I think we should be good. Let's see. Let's draw some cards and I think I will take them from the draw pile. Pirate hunting, I could do that, actually. Oh, interesting. And let's see, what's this? Pinnace, okay, it's another small little ship. Oh, this is also nice. It gives me one point for each completed quest and two victory point income. So that's six points in total. Oh, that's nice, actually. These are four points plus this, five points. Oh, this, this is really nice, actually. Last action for Jean, and this will be a combat action. So first of all, she will move her final space. She will get another card. That's the fourth card here. So that's the penis. Doesn't really matter because then the game will be over. And then she will go for another combat. So let's see what we draw here. Okay, interesting. So France would get three extra points because they are definitely far behind. So that's five points for France and she gets two, one more point there. So that's six points for France actually. She gets uh, four points. She's in the lead actually there. So she gets seven points here, minus two, that's five points. So right now France is in the lead with six points here, but just because of this extra. And Spain, I'm in the lead, so Spain is definitely out. So I think it's France, right? So again, she has five plus her two, that's seven, minus one, that's six. Yeah, she will go for France actually, but I believe this will not give her anything actually. So. This will go out. I think she will place it here actually. And then she will score two influence in France, which doesn't help her. Yeah, that's really tough for her. But that's the end of the game actually. So let's see, I could go for two points or I could build another card. I think I should be good doing another card. And I think I will go for the penis now yes that's nine coin i have to pay definitely not a problem i can only build one unfortunately but that's nine coin first of all i get four points because i have four complete quests one two three and four seventy eight and on top of this we get two victory point income which moves us to 14 not too shabby either
when we do our income. Money income isn't worth anything for us, unfortunately, because we haven't made it over this threshold here. Kind of a pity, but I still think that the ship was the better deal. On the other hand, we will score 14 points now here, which should move us to 92 points in total. Of course, Jean will now also score her income points. And that's 14 points here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shouldn't she be at 11 actually? I think I forgot to give her a card. Shouldn't she be? Didn't she have nine before? I'm not sure now. I think she should have 11. So that's 25 points for her actually. She will now score. That's definitely something. Again, I could be wrong, but again, I don't want to cheat actually. So that's 25 points. So that's 43, 53, 63, just because of her income. Then we will do the card and scoring. I think this is the phase where she will also score her majorities, for example. But let's let's tally up our points first, which isn't bad. So that's six points, nine points, 11 points, 16 points. Not really great, I, I did better before, but 16 points is okay. So that's 98, 108. Okay, that's kind of okay. And then let's check for her majorities. No, actually, first of all, she gets five points for each quest. She has fulfilled three quests, so that's 15 points for her. So that's 68. 78. And then we check for her majority. She definitely is further behind on this track. So that's 10 points because of this. We do have more quests than she has. So I think we should be good. In respect to unlocks, we should be good either. I think she has five. We have at least six or seven, so she doesn't score anything here. Uh, and this was the Explorer track, actually. This is the thing, she doesn't get it, she doesn't get it, and here she gets 10 points because her Explorer is definitely farther than we do. That's 88 points. And then we go for the influence scoring. First of all, um, whoever is further ahead in any of those influence tracks gets three points. In this case, that's clearly six points for Jean and three points for us because we are ahead in Spain. So that's 94 actually. She's really coming close now. And it's three points for us. And last but not least, we really score the influence of the nations and how good we are doing. So first of all, we need to check which nation is in the lead. And that's clearly England with four cubes. Spain and France are tied. So England gets a victory um, bonus of two. So that's two points three points, four points. So basically everything that's unlocked. And these four points we will now multiply with a noble rank we have achieved. So Jean gets a three, so that's 12 points for Jean actually. So that's definitely something. So she's now at 106. Wow, incredibly close. But of course we also get some points. That's eight, so we are moving to 119. Next we check in Spain. Not sure about a tie actually, because again, Spain and France are tied. And apparently the tie is kind of friendly. So basically France and Spain, they both get this um, second place it seems. Though it's two points for Spain multiplied by two. So we basically it's a wash pretty much. So we get both four points so we can basically get rid of it. Unfortunately, I didn't make it here. She made it there. And the same is true for France, but here she gets two points. No, that's two. She gets four points and I get two points. One, two, three, and four, and I get two points. And it seems I really have beaten the medium level gene. How cool is that? I'm pretty sure that I met, messed something up in this game. Okay, I think I should still beam. No, I think, do I still beam to Havana? So I'm not sure if I get the two points here, but again, we have won anyway, it's not close. I think I get it. I, I need to read the rules, but again, I really do not care about it. 
pretty sure I may have messed up something else. Hopefully I did interpret the AI cards correctly. Pretty sure I will notice this during editing, but for now I will consider it a win and I'm really, really happy. It was really challenging and don't get me wrong, I know this game. So I played the multiplayer version of the game quite often in the meantime, really love this game, which is the reason why I think I didn't do bad. But I think it's okay if you have some experience going to the higher difficulties um whatever i think there were still two more levels i could beat and then things could have really looked entirely differently but definitely a very very enjoyable exercise keep in mind there is still a way also playing solo in the campaign against jean and then she will also go after some of those quests and story quests and whatnot so really really yeah the replayability in this game is, is, is really nearly endless anyway i still think see some expansions coming out to be honest um there is still room and there are still elements from Sid Meier's Pirates or Port Royal which could have been integrated here maybe something is coming maybe not the game as it is is really complete so there's nothing missing don't get me wrong it's really a hell of a fun again I could still play it basically every day really enjoyable um but yeah who knows what is coming out Again, huge shout out to all of my patrons. Uh, really appreciate all your support. Uh, if you want to check out my Patreon patron, please do so. I'm planning a giveaway relatively quickly for my patrons. Um, as a normal raffle is not allowed on Patreon, I think I have to come up with something else. So stay tuned, my dear patrons. So you still have some time to support me. and. I will really do that on every level actually and I really hope you enjoyed my little playthrough here hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye